So in ceramics today, we're going to talk about scraffito, which is where you scratch into leather hard clay. Uh, so it's not completely dry and it's already been glazed. So you have a color on hard clay that you're going to scratch into. Um, the color is up to you. Pick something that's going to contrast with white because the clay we use is going to be white. Um, and once the glaze is dry, you carve away all the areas you want to stay white. And then we give it a shiny glaze coat and we fire. It's a really cool contrasting um, technique. Um, use a drawing app to come up with your idea first using a white pen on any color background. So in this class, um, what we had done was used cookie cutters to make tiny shapes. We were doing a one class graffito project. It's a little tricky to do in one day, but we did it. So we had a leather hard slab of clay and we just, like making cookies, you punch out the shapes as close as you can to each other so that you can get um, as many as you can out of one slab. If you want to join one on top of the other, you need to slip and score and of course write your name on the back. Lay them all down on um, a clean piece of newspaper once you're ready. If you wish to wear it like a pendant or a keychain or make like an ornament of some kind, you want to put a hole. Um, if you want to use maybe like a coaster or a magnet, then you wouldn't. So you can choose which ones want holes. Um, make sure you smooth down the edges because if you fire it with sharp parts, it will be not, uh, it'll be hard to touch. It will cut you. The next step is you're going to glaze your tiny, tiny shapes. Now because we had so many, we did lots of different colors. Um, always you can glaze the top the sides but never the bottom okay you can mix glazes but just know that they don't mix like watercolor they will sort of sit translucent on top of one another but they don't you can't mix two glazes to make a third color wait for them to dry um, you know it's dry if you look at the purple one it's not shiny the orange and the yellow it's still wet you can tell because there's a bit of a shine so wait until it's completely dry and then now you're ready to start um, carving. So we're going to practice first in that leftover clay. You're going to take your tools and try them all out. Use the corner, use the whole shape. Uh, this is so fun. It feels like you're carving into butter. Um, this slab was not quite dry enough. We were doing this all in one day. It's still a little too wet. So you can see the edges are popping up, but test out your tools to make big marks, skinny marks, uh, lots of different things you can do even with one tool and so you know which one you can use for which effect that you want to get. So now you're going to go to your good one and you're going to carve away anything that you want to remain white. Okay. Take your time, nice and slow. If any of the clay kind of uh, buckles to the surface you want to gently brush that away. If a tool isn't working, switch it out, try something different. You don't have to carve that deep, just enough to remove the color on the surface. You don't want to go through your entire piece of clay. <laughs> this is so satisfying. It feels so nice carving this away. I like the thicker tools. Um, but you can try multiple. There's even, um, say if you had a big shape like this, once it's dry, you can go back in and glaze those little cutout pieces with a different color also. So then we add a shiny glaze coat. So these are before the glaze. This is just matte dry glaze and this is after a shiny coat and it's been fired. Okay, this is fun.